do this, they will load your plate. We'll do the spicy, we'll do the They're adding so much. Just pull out your phone and yeah. film. See, that's why. See, they're only doing this because you're filming them while they're working, right? While they're adding the food for you. They don't want to look like they're a cheap restaurant. So if you have your phone out, they're going to be like, yo, we don't want the bad advertisement. You know what I'm saying? So they're, they're adding a lot of food, though. Like each plate, bro, this plate right here, this looks like. 10 people can f can uh, fill themselves up with it. Actually, Ridiculous. the spicy wings. You, could probably, um, you probably can't even close it. That's my go-to order every time. I'm not gonna lie, yo. It's making me hungry just a bit. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, bro. If I take your bag, just know that you're not catching me. Damn. I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Now this is just crazy. This rapper explains Damn. a story when he was with his friends in the studio making music and he explains how supposedly some of them were starting to get taken over by demonic spirits and they were trying to get him to sell his soul. Just watch this. My home studio, it had to be like eight to ten people off in there. And um, we had beats and stuff playing in the, in the background and everything. That's how we used to do it, you know, so everybody doing what they do and drinking and everything and actually it came down to it that dudes actually started being used by demonic spirits and these spirits start speaking through them you know what I'm saying devils start speaking through them talking to me asking me you know what I'm saying if I was gonna sell my soul telling me what I needed to do to take my career to the next level in darkness I mean dudes actually came up to me holding wads of money saying man don't you want to make all this money now nah. this rapper was so blessed to know about all this since he believes in Christ and he said that he rejected it as he knew it was from the devil but you know what I'm saying my question is that I had with them myself began to be answered and I knew that if those demonic spirits was real if the devil was real you know what I'm saying and he was offering me a way then I knew that God was real I don't even know which rapper that was bro like let me know in the comments if you know who that was like I've never seen that rapper in my life bro did you know you don't need to uh, that guy is killing it right now a, a million dollar baby you can even add another flavor to make it spicy. Now gently use a potato masher to make it all blend together. Keep doing this until you have this creamy like pasture. Once it looks creamy and juicy enough for you, you're ready to strain it. I did this in the sink, but you can do it anywhere you want. Use gloves to protect yourself against the heat. Once you get rid of all the liquid, pour it back into the pan so we can start adding ingredients. First add butter. As the butter melts into the warm mixture, it releases a comforting, mouth-watering aroma. Next up is your salt. Salt can balance the overall flavor profile and elevate the dish, but not too much, or you get high blood pressure. Then add milk and some herbs to your liking. I added some rosemary. Mix this for around a minute to get all the flavors to blend together to create a rich mashed potatoes dish, but without potatoes. The taste of this will be incredible and taste just like mashed potatoes, even though it's a much cheaper version of making it. Top it off with some herbs and get ready to surprise your love. Uh, I'm just gonna say, bro, uh, Pringles is not chips. Like, it's not real chips. It doesn't come from potatoes. It comes from, like, a completely different thing. So, that clip was just so gross to me, man. Like, yo, look it up, bro. I'm telling you. I never knocked out a real man. Come on. Did you know? Guy, guy is 58 years old, bro. I still have a feeling he might win, though. Iron, Iron Mike, bro. Than in Seattle. Your red blood cells only live about 120 days. Coke had three different opportunities 100 years ago to buy Pepsi and refused every single time. Christmas lights used to be a status symbol because they would often be rented instead of bought because they were so expensive. This river in the Amazon <laughs> has boiling water. 
Australia has the highest skin cancer rate in the world. Angel Falls in Venezuela is the highest uninterrupted waterfall in the world. The Eiffel Tower can be taller by about 15 centimeters in the summer due to the increased temperatures expanding the metal. It only took Lady Gaga 10 minutes each to write Poker Face, Born This Way, and Just Dance. The Cubs 2016 World Series ring includes an engraving of the billy goat that was refused entry in the 1945 World Series, which caused the owner to lay a curse on the team. <laughs> I, I, feel, I have a feeling that every team in every or every uh, league, you know what I mean? Every sport, there is at least one team with like a curse. You know what I mean? They never win anything. They always get like knocked out of the playoffs or sometimes I think it's uh, Toronto teams, bro. Straight, straight up, bro. Straight up. Oh my god. It's like all back. It's kind of jokes though. Like, I remember going to the gym like way back in the day, bro. Like, when I was a little bit younger. And I always found it funny. You see people like around in the gym, they're not using the, the machines properly, or you know what I mean? They're like lifting awkwardly. It's jokes, man. No, I need a lawyer, but I, because I don't know where I'm going. And who's going in the in this in this vehicle? He will go with you. Damn, son, it's Nick Nicki Minaj, bro. That's a trip. And she, she's live too. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Uh -huh. But it was probably for, honestly, it was probably for like a good reason. Because like, she's probably trying to sneak like drugs or something, like weed or something, bro. Like, should never bring weed to just like, don't be bringing weed to another country like that, bro. Like, they, they take it serious, man. They'll, they're not like the states or, you know. I've seen that happen so many times with celebrities. Yeah, this is crazy, man. I've heard about this happening just the other day, bro. Tyga and uh, Travis Scott um, beefing with each other. It's kind of funny though because both of those rappers are like pretty short and they're kind of like similar size so it's like there's no weight advantage. It's probably like the perfect matchup in terms of like a fight. They should set up a boxing match straight up. Maybe there's some kind of like um, issue going on between the two. Or I, I'm pretty sure they got the same like uh, what, what's her name the Jenner girl uh, pregnant so that, that could be it. Guy's a legend, bro. Legend. The movie Taken, that's probably my favorite movie, bro. Straight up. <laughs> it's crazy, but not too fucking crazy. I think, you know, at first glance, if you don't know what it is, then yeah, it's crazy. Um, I don't have an issue blinking or moving it. Um, what's another one? I can't fucking see out of it. Y'all asking, how is it that I see? Well, I use this eye. This I use this eye to see. Uh, what's another one, baby? Um... He didn't get it removed only to put the diamonds in his eye. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I didn't fucking. <laughs> That's a good one. Because I did not fucking take my good eye out just to have this. And I guess a lot of you have that impression saying it's like fucking doomsday and yeah. fucking just God. But um, I do appreciate all the love so that I've been getting. So stupid, bro. Um, so if y'all have any other comments, good or bad, just put them bitches down there. Bro. And uh, yeah. Oh, and just, they're not. They're not. Right. Man, just the way he. Man. Jesus. Just just the way he's talking, bro. This guy sounds like an idiot, man. What if you need to remove it? Like, why would you do that? Now you only have one eye. Just to show people that you can buy diamonds, like so dumb, bro. No, I'm a bear. Look, it looks stupid too. <laughs> You're in my world now. You wanna go home? You are home in my bear cave. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the door! I can't let you into that. I swear that I'm sorry. 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 I'm sor
I remember nights like this, bro. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. Like, the, the guy's face, he, like, looking at the pan, bro. Like, trust me. So funny. It doesn't even look like it. <laughs> I always find videos like this jokes, man. A lot of prankers, a lot of uh, pranksters, they'll be making videos like this, bringing like uh, a look-alike celebrity. And most of the time, the look-alike doesn't look anything like the actual uh, celebrity. So I don't know. Especially like in this situation, that that does not look like Drake, bro. <laughs> Oh shit! This guy might actually be Neymar after that, bro. That this was, man tried to play a prank on his friend by doing a jujitsu move, which would temporarily paralyze his body. And his plan was unsuccessful at first, after he missed the pressure point. But moments later, his friend came back to get revenge, and he executed it perfectly. Yeah, yeah, right, bro. No way, man. I want to learn how to do that. That's crazy. Sorate's bus guy just drops hijacked like... by a passenger with a 17 inch blade machete. <laughs> VTA says its operations control center or OCC data shows Sorate pressed his emergency alert button at 5.05 a.m., activating the bus microphone so dispatchers could listen in. A minute later, at 5.06 a.m., OCC contacted the sheriff's office. Hi, um, emergency alarm on one of our coaches? The dispatcher at the time doesn't appear to realize Zorate's life is in danger. This here conversation, I think, it's a loud conversation, that's all I'm hearing. At 5.16, you hear the siren of the first sheriff's unit arrive. Both VTA and the Santa Clara County Sheriff's Office say they're proud of their individual response times. VTA says it responded in one minute at 5.06 a.m. when its dispatcher called the Sheriff's Office. With a two-minute gap that's unaccounted for, the Sheriff's Office said its call for service started at 5.08 and its deputy only took eight minutes to get on scene. But no one, we found, was considering how long Zarate was actually waiting for help. A total of 11 minutes. Bro, that's... Ooh. That's kind of crazy too, but like, bro. If you're just being in a situation like that, it's just... Damn, bro. It's just such a trip, man. Gotta like stay as calm as possible. Bro. I live with my dad. I want to help her out. Speed, I'm watching the street. Why are you trying not to lie, bro? That's disrespectful as shit, bro. The fuck is wrong with you, bro? Stop fucking laughing, bro. Yo, chat, why this game so fun, chat? <laughs> uh, this guy's kind of jokes, bro. I lie, I lie. <laughs> This guy's an idiot, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, why would you, like, what? What the hell? Uh, what? Is that, is that a dog, bro? Like, what the hell? I think it's a dog. That's so weird. It, it looked like it was sitting like a person, bro. That, that That's really weird. It's Maybe it's just the angle, the, the camera, you know what I mean? Whoever's filming, the way 
the angle was when she's or he was uh filming uh, the dog but like it looked like it was sitting like a human bro that's really weird i think it's just the angle though 